Okay, the working principle, how it works. First of all, a transformer consists of a primary coil and secondary coil worn at a soft iron core. Okay, from here we can see that uh, the primary coil is connected to an alternating current source. Okay, this is an alternating source, source of alternating currents. Okay, source of AC, alternating current. It must be alternating current. You cannot use direct currents. I use direct currents, uh, it does not work. Now there's uh, there's electricity, there's a current flow in this coil, okay? Uh, and then we have an uh, iron core, iron core. Now even though this iron is a conductor, but this is uh, insulated iron. Insulated means that uh, the current uh, from this coil cannot go into iron. Uh. Is insulated, so the currents cannot go here. So it means that uh, the currents go here, then it can only go back to this uh, source of uh, alternating currents. Okay, so the currents cannot go here and then go uh, through the uh, through this uh, iron core and then go to the secondary core. It cannot, eh? okay, it cannot. But anyway, if you switch on the switch eh, of this source of alternating currents, eh, um, you will find that the the light bulb here will light up. The light bulb here will light up. Okay. Then the question is, where is the energy come from? Because the currents, the currents cannot go to the secondary circuit. Eh? Okay. The current cannot can only flow in the primary circuit. So if the current cannot go to the secondary circuit, then where is the currents in the secondary circuits come from? Where's the current come from? Because it's not connected to any source of uh, electricity. Uh, so where is the electricity come from? So uh, that is how we work. I'll, I'll discuss this. So in this uh, working principles, uh, I will explain to you how it work. Eh? Okay, how it work. It's because of the magnetic field. Um, yes, okay. It's related to the magnetic field. Eh? Okay, but uh, the the energy is not come from the magnetic field. Okay, it's not come from the magnetic. Field. Actually, it's uh, it's due to Electromagnetic inductions eh? is caused by the electromagnetic inductions. When an alternating current flow in the primary coil, a changing magnetic flux is generated around the primary coil. Okay, so when alternating currents, alternating currents, it moves like this. Eh? It moves forward and then it moves backward, forward, backward, eh? and the current. Eh? If you still remember, the current actually increases. Eh? Forward increase, decrease, okay, and then backward increase, decrease. Okay, this is alternating currents. Eh? Increase, decrease, increase, decrease. Eh? When the alternating currents flow through the primary circuit, it will generate this uh, magnetic field. So it will generate magnetic fields around uh, this coil here, okay, and when the current increase, eh? when the currents increase, the field. The field will also increase, eh? okay? So the field initially is very uh, weak field, okay? So when the currents increase, the field will also, okay, the field will increase. So when the current decrease, then the field will decrease again, eh? Okay, the field will decrease. And then when the current change direction, it move forward, right? It move increase, decrease, eh? okay? This is a forward. Now when it move backwards, then the field will also change directions. The field will also change directions. Eh? So it will change directions. Okay. So the field change directions. And uh, and then uh, when it increase, then the field will also increase. The field will increase. Okay. The field will increase. Eh? So this uh, what happens. This what happens. Eh? So when alternating currents flows in the primary coil, a changing magnetic flux is generated around the primary coil. So this is called changing. It increase, decrease, and change directions. Eh? So this is called a changing magnetic flux. Okay, changing magnetic flux. Eh? And that's why we use alternating currents because only alternating currents can produce changing magnetic flux. Eh? Direct currents it cannot produce changing magnetic flux. Uh, that's what you need to know. And then um, the changing magnetic flux is transferred to the secondary coil through the iron core. So this flux uh, is then transferred to the secondary coil through the iron core, and that's the functions of the iron core. Eh? The functions of the iron core is to transfer the magnetic flux. 
So just now only here we have magnetic flux, uh, but this magnetic flux can be transferred to the secondary coil. Now the secondary coil also has magnetic flux. And the changing magnetic flux is then cut by the secondary coil. So let's say we have uh, this uh, magnetic flux here. So this magnetic flux, when the first magnetic flux uh, increase or decrease, uh, let's say the first one uh, from, from a small, small magnetic field, uh, it increase. Okay, it increase to a big one. It increase to the big one. This magnetic field will be transferred to the secondary coil and the secondary coil also, the magnetic flux also changing from a small one. Then, okay, now you see uh, when the, the magnetic flux, uh, it increase, it expand, uh, increase and expand from a small one to a big one, it will be cut by the coil here, right? Okay, so you see carefully, when I expand it, you will see that this coil will be cut by the magnetic flux, uh, so it's cut by the coil, or cut by the conductor here. Okay, so it increase, then it will cut by the magnetic, uh, sorry, cut by the coil. Okay, it cut by the coil. And then so we learn that when there is magnetic flux cut by a, a conductor, EMF is induced, right? Yeah, we have learned this in electromagnetic inductions. Huh? When magnetic field is cut by conductor, uh, EMF is induced and current is induced. So this changing magnetic flux uh, will be transferred to the secondary coil and then the then it will produce a changing magnetic flux uh, around the secondary coil and this flux is cut by the secondary coil. And then uh, electromagnetic induction occurs, then uh, EMF induced in secondary coil and currents induced uh, in secondary coil. And that's why, uh, that's why there's no current flow from the primary coil to the secondary coil, but still there's a current in secondary coil, okay? The current in secondary coil is produced through electromagnetic inductions, okay? Electromagnetic inductions. Eh? So that is uh, how these uh, transformers work. This is a working principles of a transformer. So the magnitude of the output voltage can be controlled by the ratios of the number of primary coil and a secondary coil. Okay, so what does this mean? Eh? Let's say you has an input voltage VP equals to uh, 240 watt, eh? and then you have you your, your output the secondary coil. Okay, you want the output to become uh, 480 watt two times. Eh? Okay, so how to produce 480 watt? Okay, this can be controlled by the ratio of the number of primary coil and secondary coil, okay? So what you do is, um, in the primary coil, let's say you have uh, five, okay, this one four, okay, four coil, four coil. If you want to produce 480, yeah? so the number of coil of this, uh, in this secondary circuit must be two times double, eh? of the primary coil. So this one four, this one it must have eight. Eh? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if this is a four coil, okay, this is eight coil, then uh, the the voltage will be double, eh? okay? Because the eight is, is the doubles of uh, four, right? Two times of four. Eh? So 240 volt, you will get 480 volt, eh? okay? If the primary coil is uh, 10, then the secondary coil must be 20, okay? If the primary coil is 100, the secondary coil must be 200, okay? So the ratio must be one to two, uh, one to two, if you want to increase the voltage by two times, okay? So we, we can control the voltage uh, by controlling the ratio of the number of uh, primary coil and secondary coil. Give you a, a simple test here. So if I want to change, my voltage uh, from 240 watt to 120 watt and let's say my number of primary coil is uh, 200 okay so what is the number of secondary coil can any of you tell me i want to step down the voltage 240 to 120 
My primary coil is 200, number, eh? the number is 200. So what's the number of uh, secondary coil? 100. Uh, because the ratio is 2 to 1, eh? so the, the ratios of the uh, number of coil must also be 2 to 1. Eh? Okay, so that's how we control the ratio of the number of coil eh? to control the voltage. Calculations of potential different change Okay, let's go to the notes. Eh? Okay, so there's something wrong with the slides. So the calculations of potential different change can be done by using this formula. Vs over Ns equal to Vp over Np. Eh? So, so Vs over Ns equal to Vp over Np. Okay, now you can also uh, use this uh, Vs over Vp equal to ns over np okay because some students that they, uh, they or they found that this is easier to be memorized uh, compared to this one but anyway it's up to you which one you like uh, because these two actually are they, they are the same now the vs now the vs is the secondary voltage or primary voltage yes secondary or primary voltage Secondary, yeah, because S stands for secondary, right? Okay, uh, P for stands for primary. Yeah. So this is a primary voltage, the secondary voltage. This is a number of secondary coil, and this is a number of primary coil. So we can use this uh, formula to do the calculations uh, to find the potential difference change.